I read this thread yesterday and I was like, okay, we got to get Carol on today because Carol went ham on this whole point that the president tweeted yesterday. He tweeted, the fact is we've got about 790 or so billionaires in America. You know what their average tax rate is? About 8%. I believe that no billionaire should be paying a lower tax rate than a teacher, firefighter, electrician, or a cop. Carol Roth disagreed, as you know. The lovely, the divine Carol Roth, the author of The War on Small Business, How the Government Used the Pandemic to Crush the Backbone of America. Best-selling author, a retired, or no, she, yeah, retired sometime investment banker, recovering investment banker. Is that, yeah, that's what she, and I like, she's just a business consigliere, you know. She's, uh, she's, the, she's the smart lady that they need to have on more often because she makes sense more so than anybody else that they have uh, on the televisions. Carol, so good to see you. You really, you got, you, I don't know if I've ever seen you. I loved it. I, I felt that. I was that. Tell us about this because, I mean, it's, you know, we kind of laugh about Biden and we say that he's brain addled and all this stuff. But this talking point is actually really, really malicious. And you broke it down. Talk to us about this. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge, egregious lie that kept me up at night. So I'm glad that you got the fire through what I was trying to communicate in Twitter because I was so angry. I mean, they have been lying to us. They stretch the truth, but this is malicious. Now I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this so I don't get this wrong. This is from whitehouse.gov. So this is coming from the official White House site. What is the average federal individual income tax rate on the wealthiest Americans? And you know, they say it's 8%. Biden says it's 8% and I'm going, eight percent like that's pretty sweet like i'm you know i'm a pretty well-to-do person my my accountant's never told me how i can get an eight percent tax rate so let's figure this out so i know what to do i yeah. want i want i want to get in on this eight percent rate <laughs> and a i sweet did not. deal <laughs> that's a sweet said? deal it's amazing <laughs> i want to get in on this so i go to the website and you know to kind of figure out the methodology here see what i could reverse engineer and just straight out front like this is not even a wolf in sheep's clothing this is a wolf in in wolf's clothing they come out right up front and go oh well we looked at everybody's unsold stock holdings and we just included that as income so let me explain this to you like as this would happen in your life let's say you bought a house it's been in your family for a lot of years that went up two hundred thousand uh, dollars on a capital gains rate that you would pay forty thousand dollars in capital gains that in theory, if you sold today, you would own, but you haven't sold, so you don't own anything because it's theoretical and it's not income. And let's say you make $40,000 a year. That means, according to their math, that you paid 0% in income taxes. This isn't a thing, Dana. This is completely a lie. And they're doing this because they want people to be mad and to go, yes, we need to tax the billionaires more. We need this wealth tax so they can come after you because guess what? The billionaires have made their money. They're gonna find a way to put it in a trust or take it overseas or whatever. And you know who's gonna have opened that door and whose money they're coming after next and whose household wealth they're coming after and generational wealth and all of that, 401ks, yours. This is nefarious. This is horrible. This is a horrendous lie and the fact that nobody in mainstream media has called this out. This has been up there, by the way, since September of 21. I only noticed it because Biden uh, tweeted about it the other day, but nobody's called them out. And Twitter, uh, we had a bunch of people report it and they said, nope, that's not misinformation. So apparently misinformation isn't a lie. It's just stuff that disagrees with the narrative. Oh my gosh, that's total <laughs> misinformation. That's insane. We're talking to Carol Roth, who you explain this better than anybody else. And you are so succinct and you're hysterical when you do it. And it's so <laughs> insightful. There is nobody better at explaining wow. these issues of finance to, I mean, you understand the audience, you understand how people read news and you're just so good at it. Uh, and I'm, I'm so glad that you're joining us today because I, that's what, when I look, when I saw, and I saw that tweet and I thought that doesn't, I saw the president's tweet and I was like, that doesn't even make any sense. That, that doesn't make sense. But how? then after you explain from, that's money you don't have. If you don't have it, you don't have it. They don't care though. They're just, they just, they want it. Even your theoretical stuff. They, they want your stuff in theory, all of it.
Well, and, and imagine if they did enact this wealth tax. First of all, it would be a one-time thing. So it wouldn't be on a year-to-year basis. This right. would be the rate. This would be a one-time thing, and then it would be all gone. And by the way, it wouldn't fund the government for more than a couple of months, and then there would be no more money. But imagine if you had all the people that own these big companies. I mean, this quote-unquote wealth is just, I built a company, and people find value in it. So it's your ownership. It's like if you have a small business or you have a farm is your ownership. So if they forced all the wealthiest people to liquidate the ownership of their businesses, not only would they no longer own their businesses, but the downward pressure that that would have on the stock market, 401k plans, the pension funds of those teachers and policemen and firemen, it the whole thing, the whole house of cards that we have, that's the only thing that is holding the house of cards together and it's not doing it real well, Dana. So it's the only thing we have and they want to get their grubby paws on that too because, you know, collecting four plus trillion dollars from us a year isn't enough. Yeah, record high tax revenue that the government has been collecting. Talking to the lovely, the brilliant Carol Roth on this, uh, the president's 8%. They only paid 8% income tax rate. Uh, the, and this... And I, you made a really good point, too. It's intentional because we, we've talked before about how entities are wanting to own all the property. I had a headline last week that I think it's, uh, what was it, Kane? These, these like asset firms, like the, uh, Bl- the Black Rocks and all that. Uh, in Tarrant County, Texas, uh, like something like 23, 24 percent of the home purchases were done by these sorts of entities just in the past year, which is that's an in, that's shocking. It's an insane number. And then with this to be able, I mean, just to to. A lie based, uh, uh, an absolute lie that they're using as justification to seize, and this is middle class, it's everybody, small business owners, people who file as small business owners. And then you made the good point also that this is after, you know, when he launched his build back, but whatever plan, uh, hiring more IRS agents, increasing the spending. um, Yeah, the American Rescue Plan. Uh, all of this going after Etsy, going after Venmo. We had that headline last week about how now even say you sell, say you you sell a tent or a trampoline on uh, on Etsy or Facebook Marketplace or you know wherever, and you take money Venmo or Facebook or however, they're going to come after that too. They're coming after. Uh, this is not just middle class. It's they want to own everything you own, and you'll be happy. This is something that completely escaped everyone. This was part of the quote unquote American rescue plan. They're here to help you. And how are they (laughs) helping you? Not only the thousand dollar whatever check you got that caused you to now have six plus thousand dollars of inflation this year, but they're going to help you because if you are, you know, selling your stuff on Etsy or you're selling it on eBay or you're paying friends with Venmo or whatnot, that if you have $600 worth of transactions, now there's going to be a 1099K generated. It used to be 20,000, and that's understandable. If, if your little side business is you know, big enough, they need to know about it. But what this does, and not to say that you didn't owe the taxes before, because if you made legitimately $600, you would, but imagine it's something you don't own taxes on. I'm just paying you back because you know we went out to dinner, you paid for a party we were throwing together, whatever it is. Now this 1099K is out there and you don't report it. So there's a flag and now you get audited and you have to come up with the justification and incur the time and the expense to justify this. They don't want to hire 87,000 IRS agents to go after the 790 billionaires they told you. They don't need that many to go after the billionaires. This is all about coming after you. And it's so amazing the Democrats have gotten away with saying they are the proponent of the little guy, of the working class, of the middle class. Well, guess what? That's a big fat lie just like that 8%. Golly, Carol Roth. This is uh, I loved I loved the thread and I loved it because you did uh, you've written some great pieces. You also were talking about the uh, poll. There was a couple of different polls. There was a survey about why Americans. Nobody feels good about the economy. Everything's horrible. Everything sucks. It's the summer of suck. Gas is expensive. <laughs> Eggs are 32 percent more expensive now than they were you know, a year ago. There was a kind of a joke story out that, oh, soon it'll be five dollars an egg. Who knows? Maybe it will. Nobody knows. But apparently the left and the media, particularly the media, are shocked by this. They just do not understand why people, I mean, it's the best economy ever. If you listen to Karine Jean-Pierre. 
Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I just have to say, usually I keep it 100, but I'm now only able to keep it 83 because of inflation. It has yeah. taken down my ability to keep it 100. <laughs> only can keep it 83. So in, in keeping it 83, yeah, the question is, this boom that they're talking about, like, I'll agree it's a boom, but it's an implosion boom. It's not like a boom yeah. going to the moon. It's imploding. I mean, what is it that they think is better? They will tell you, oh, well, wages are up. Well, wages are up because of inflation, right. but they haven't kept pace with inflation. So on an inflation adjusted basis, they are down. We know the stock market has imploded. Again, part of that being the Fed fault, but you know they passed a $1.9 trillion rescue plan to throw fuel onto the fire last year. That certainly didn't help the cause. Everything that they tell you that is better isn't. I mean, it's like, you know, pretty soon we're going to hear bread lines are a great way to meet your neighbors. I mean, that's the kind <laughs> oh my of stuff gosh, that's that going to be a talking trying. point. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like the, the level of here, let me show you the silver lining. And they could change this. I mean, that, that's the crazy part is that their energy policy could really stem the bleeding. Certainly we can't turn on energy overnight. There's no way to put a faucet in the ground, but communicating to the market that we're gonna go back to investing in fossil fuels alongside green policy, we need both. You know, we need all the energy we can get. Energy is a good thing. So they could do a 180 on this. They would signal that to the market. It would help take some heat off in the short term. And long term, it would shore up economic and national security. But 100% or 83% with inflation, they are not going to be able or willing to do that because that's not what they care about. They care about their talking points. They care about their, you know, basically kill America agenda. And they are not here for the middle class. They are not here for the working person. They are not here to create wealth opportunities and economic freedom for you. They want you dependent on the government. So they own you. If you own nothing, they own you. And that is the plan. That's the key. If you own nothing, they own you. That's yep. that's great. Well, the War on Small Business by New York Times bestselling author Carol Roth. Always so good to see you. I'm so happy that you're on with me today. And like and, and thank you so much for your insight. You're just you're the smartest and sassiest <laughs> one around. God love you. Carol Roth. Well, always love you back. You. Thanks, Dana. Take care. <laughs>